Hello, I'm Dr. Nagaraj Puttaswamy. I'm a laparoscopic and bariatric surgeon at Punya Hospitals, Bangalore. There is a condition called gluteal abscess and the perianal abscess. So there are two different uh, you know, conditions, uh, infective in origin. Abscess means collection of pus in a location. So gluteal means around the gluteal region, in the buttock region. The gluteal abscess usually is followed with the injection. So we call that as an injection abscess also, because that is the area where we tend to inject patients for intramuscular injections. So if the technique is not perfect, if there is an unsterile way of you know, injecting some medical you know, material into a muscle, then uh, injection abscess or a gluteal abscess can form. But uh, at the same time, sometimes uh, the uh, medicine what is given, though it is sterile, it may induce some amount of muscle necrosis or tissue necrosis uh, after getting into the body and cause a small infective focus mimicking an abscess. This is called gluteal abscess. Very rarely prima facie or you know, a uh, pre-existing condition can um, present uh, in the form of a small abscess in the gluteal region which would have appeared or in, in any other part of the body. Whereas a perianal abscess, as the name very clearly describes, uh, anal is anal region, peri is around that. So around the anal region if an abscess develops, uh, that is called a perianal abscess. This is usually secondary to some infection of the anal gland. Anal gland which is otherwise normally present in every individual for normal secretion of some mucus or serous like material which will not hurt the anal canal when the feces is getting emptied. So that will be normally functioning in case if it gets infected and the infection doesn't subside with uh, med simple medical management uh, that gets converted into a perianal abscess. See both gluteal abscess and perianal abscess need to be managed surgically most of the times.